Here at Helmuth Ford, we are a small town dealership with no hassle and no pressure. Mayhem Haunted House at 13011 120th Avenue, Tumwa. Invite you to their second annual Trunk or Treat and Lighted Tour on Saturday, October 12th. Trunk or Treat from 6 to 7 p.m. is free. Lighted Tour from 6 to 7.30 is $10. And get a full scale from 7.30 to 9 for $15 per person. Come find out why Mayhem Haunted House has been voted the best haunted house in Iowa for multiple times. Open for the Halloween season, Friday and Saturdays, October 18th through November 2nd. Cost is $15. Get ready to scream at Mayhem Haunted House in a dumb war. Watch Pekin Panther football live right here this fall on Steve Shetler Media, Facebook, and YouTube with live announcers and an updated scoreboard, plus an area scoreboard to keep you updated on other schools of interest. It's Pekin Panther football live right here on Steve Shetler Media. Delta Fire and Rescue presents the Delta Haunted House at 109 North Center Street in Delta. Admission is just $10 per person. The Delta Haunted House is open each Friday and Saturday throughout October and on Halloween night from 8 to 10 p.m. Food and drinks will be available for purchase and now accepting cash and most major credit cards. It's the Delta Fire and Rescue Delta Haunted House Fridays and Saturdays in October and on Halloween night. Thistles are pesky plants to control because of their vast root systems. When it comes to getting rid of them, timing is everything on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio. Providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Check out our full lineup of Successful Farming podcasts. The Successful Farming podcast goes in-depth into the topics that affect farmers and ranchers. The 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast offers a quick conversation between an editor and a farmer. The SF Shorts podcast offers bite-sized interviews about agricultural topics. And the SF Daily Podcast covers commodity markets, weather, and the big things happening in agriculture each morning. Search for Successful Farming wherever you download your podcasts. Welcome to the soothing sounds of cropland seed. It's the kind of sound you only get with broad access to high-performing genetics and traits and years of data from extensive testing. Also, retailers can recommend what will work best in your fields. Take some stress out of your season. Talk to your local retail seed expert about Cropland Seed today. Take a walk through your pastures and scout for thistles. The wily weeds propagate very quickly and choke out any grasses growing there. Animals won't graze near them because of their prickly spines and unpalatable flavor, which can lead to overgrazing in other areas. Chris Proctor is a weed management extension educator at the University of Nebraska. He says the best time to control biennial and perennial thistles is now through early November, when the weed is at its most vulnerable in the rosette stage. The plants are just small at that point. And so if we're talking you know, herbicide controls, generally speaking, the smaller the plants, the more effective the control is. I'd say the other part is they're still actively growing. Once they go through winter, they kind of have to harden themselves off to survive winter. And so if you can catch them in the fall as a rosette, they haven't gone through that overwintering process and that dormancy process. And so you tend to have more effective control. Small populations are much easier to control than larger, more robust populations. Mowing, burning, and digging out the plants will weaken them and may help the effectiveness of herbicides. But keep in mind that there is no one-and-done silver bullet when it comes to good thistle control. You're not going to kill all those rhizomes and those deep-rooted plants in one year. If you've got a pretty well-established stand, it's going to be a multi-year process to manage it. So one of the keys is preventing these weeds from setting seed. If they go to seed, you're extending the amount of time it's going to take to get ahead of it. So part of this is controlling the seed bank. I'm Jody Henke. Learn more about battling thistles at agriculture.com. <laughs> 